The idea came on a Monday afternoon in March. I pulled up to the Smith's gas station and started to fill up my car with gas. And a thought had come to me, why not try fiddling while I'm waiting? So I pulled out my fiddle and started to play what came to my head. I'm not sure if anybody cared or noticed, but that's okay. I was on a roll. So, next stop, Smith's Grocery Store. I saw there were rows and rows of Easter things, but where's all the St. Patrick's Day stuff? I thought it might be fun to play there. I also did get permission first from an embarrassed cashier. Here's some fun decorations to stand by. Also, there's a cute little girl standing nearby. Her mother said it's okay if she comes and dances, which is good. It's helping me be less nervous. Here it goes. Whatever, she can come in here. Adventures in Irish Fiddling, Day 2. During our daughter's violin lesson, I stopped at AutoZone to purchase a needed replacement for one of our car's headlights. After the purchase, I got permission from the night manager to play a fiddle tune next to the batteries. Yeah, night manager, so. Okay. Have you ever had anyone come in and play an instrument in your store? I have not. Anyone, <laughs> yep. Okay. What did you think of that? <laughs> it's pretty good. I, I unfortunately had to go out for a second, so I missed part of it, but um, okay. I enjoyed it. It was really random and kind of nerve-wracking for me, so thanks for uh, letting me go out of, you know, out of my comfort zone and you getting yeah. out of your comfort zone me a little bit in your store. <laughs> yeah, no problem. All right. Awesome. <laughs> We appreciate your store that we've been here several times and appreciate the services you guys give. Yeah, well, thank you. Okay, thanks. On Tuesday afternoon, I picked up my son's cello and started to play Danny Boy. He walked in on me as I was recording. I won't share that part, but I think he thought it was quite amusing. So here you go. This is kind of what it looks like and sounds like for a violin player to play a cello.
Irish washerwoman. Adventures in Irish Fiddling, Day 3. On Wednesday afternoon, I took our daughter to her ballet class. The Whittier Community Center has been serving our community since the early 1900s. It is a non-profit facility which allows tenants to come teach ballet classes, martial arts, homeschool programs. There's also various family and community events here. When I walk inside to this place, I feel like I'm stepping back in time. I love the little corners, the nooks and crannies, the smells, the spacious rooms, the creaky stairs. It almost feels as if ghosts of the past still linger here. Many have developed incredible talents and skills within these walls. Today I got to Irish fiddle in front of two super adorable little mini dancers. Time for Bear River Ramblers music practice. This isn't exactly a place where I go play Irish music. There's another band I'm in called Wildwing where we do a lot more of that kind of music. But tonight, we're doing more bluegrass. Okay, two, three, four. All God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing high. Some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything like that now. I definitely wouldn't call this an Irish piece, but I decided to include it anyway. Bluegrass, country, folk, Irish, Celtic music, all have some things in common. Thanks for joining me on my Wednesday adventures. Was that good, Edgar? Yeah! <laughs>
but I was on such a fiddler's high after that performance that I totally forgot. So I'll come back very soon. It's the last day. Okay. Hi. Thanks for going on this little Irish fiddling adventure with me. It's been a lot of fun. When I first brought the idea to some of my family and friends that I was going to go in some random places and play an Irish fiddling tune, they kind of looked at me and said, why? Well, I did give some reasons. One of the reasons is that I like to give myself challenges that stretch my abilities to in performing, even if it means coming out of my comfort zone a little bit. Another reason is I like to bring happiness and fun to others. And I really like people and I really like their reactions to things. So it's been a fascinating week. So all these places that were filmed are typical places that I go during a week. Every place I went, I did try to ask the manager or the director if it would be okay if I did that. And almost everybody said yes. Some were kind of embarrassed about it, but they're like, okay. One person I asked in a dessert shop, I won't say the name, but we still, got a treat from their place and it was really good, but they didn't seem too interested. They were kind of just embarrassed and they laughed a little bit. And then they said, ah, uh, I don't think we better while well, our manager's not here. And there's nobody else in the store. And it was kind of amusing what they, you know, how they reacted, but that's okay. To finish off today, I'm going to share just a few little favorite moments of fiddling with different friends, family, and even a little bit with some animals. Thank you again for joining me on this journey, and I hope it brought you a little dose of happy. Goodbye.
goodbye. Goodbye. Nice knowing you.